okay so when we are learning to be center or when we are working with our mind there are five specific challenges that we need to face these are like five obstacles that mind presents um, as we learn to uh, stay present in the moment or when we learn to you know work on our inner lives Buddha call it five hindrances or five nibran it's like curtains that comes in uh, front of your awareness and uh, it just uh, makes it harder to do whatever you are doing right so what are these five obstacles the first one is dullness and for me it's especially more challenging i don't know why but uh, when i go for some meditation retreat or you know it just uh, it is the one that is uh, challenging me most <laughs> in some way so it, it's like um, when you're facing this dullness it's more like uh, it's like you don't have access to your uh, resources right it's uh, uh, it's just dull it makes everything dull and it's not uh, you cannot uh, do things as sharply as you could have uh, in general right so so one thing to understand about these five obstacles are they are more like uh, uh, they're more like a passing breeze or storm right they're just passing by and when they are in front of your awareness it's going to challenge you it's going to test your strength but then they are going to pass away and then you gain back your normal state of being right so while you're facing any of these uh, uh, obstacles your job is not really to you know do your job is not to judge yourself based on the quality of work that you were doing or how productive you were in those moments but more like were you able to be stay present while this storm was passing by right that's the right way of uh, uh, assessing your uh, action in those moments right when these things are passing by were was I able to stay present or uh, uh, I get swept away? And even if you get swept away, it's okay because it's more like learning. It's more like you're practicing to master these uh, tendencies, right? Which are kind of, uh, if you don't do that, it's kind of run, runs our life. And yeah, it's, it's just like it, uh, we don't have complete control. We don't have enough control over, uh, over ourselves we cannot uh, be centered when these things are passing by so the first one is dullness and uh, the second one is uh, opposite of dullness agitation right mind is very agitated <laughs> it's not going to stay at one place it's just moving in all over the places and it's like um, it's very uncomfortable it's very uncomfortable again like a storm passing by if i can stay present in those moments those moments uh, amazing if i could not try it next time um, but can, but know that these are the qualities of mind. These are the uh, obstacles. It's not it's, it has nothing to do with your uh, capacity or anything like that. It's just like mind presents these obstacles uh, in front of you, right? The third one is uh, uh, craving. You start craving for something. I need to uh, something sweet or maybe my, uh, maybe I can go meet some friends or something like that. Some kind of a, a craving again. The object is not important here. It's just quality of this, the quality of mind when it craves. How does it feel, right? It's again like a storm coming and passing by. If you can handle it, wow, uh, you deserve uh, appreciation. It's not so easy to handle these things. The fourth one is aversion. Again, just opposite of craving, um, kind of a hatred. Um, a memory came up in your mind that you were not very happy about. And you want to kind of suppress it or just like uh, get just get out of my way <laughs> uh, you don't want to experience it right so that's uh, more like a version and the fifth one is very interesting it's uh, doubt right sunset doubt you start doubting uh, uh, what you're doing you start um, it's, 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 a, it's a very interesting trap right you will notice like it's again it's it's just the, it's it's like a storm it comes it stays for some time and then it passes away but while it stay it feels like everything that i'm doing is uh, wrong or something some weirdness right 
but you notice like after an hour you were like what was i thinking is like it, it, it makes no sense but while you're in that uh, that storm it feels so real it feels like yeah of course <laughs> it's a, it's a weirdest idea i'm doing but i'm doing anyway so these are like five um, hindrances that mind presents and uh, our job is again not to judge ourselves based on how productive we were in those moments but um, learning to stay centered learning to face these uh, uh, storms or obstacles uh, because that gives us control over our life right that gives us this sense of being centered this uh, confidence of being able to stay centered when things are not going our way or when uh, uh, our minds are not uh, normal 